Welcome friends, this is Rodney Jean, Austin, Texas, and this is the Seymour Duncan Custom Shop Staple P90 <laughs> demonstration. Oh, that's quite a mouthful there. Um, if you play roots, rockabilly, country, Americana, blues, uh, this pickup is just flat out awesome. It's just flat out cool uh, in, in every regard. And uh, unlike a traditional P90 pickup, this custom shop staple pickup, um, instead of two ball magnets and individual uh, screws on top to adjust for string balance, this uses six individual staple magnets and a mechanism with a spring that raises them and lowers them. This creates an entirely different magnetic field and tonal properties. Um, this pickup does have a, a P90 essence in that it has the long bobbin and um, these are wound pretty hot, uh, 9.5K, but um, with the Alnico 5 little magnet, staple magnets, but the tone is very clear and it's chimey and uh, it's big and it's bold and it's you know all those great descriptions that we have for pickups but really when you hear them I think you'll understand if you play rockabilly these are heaven sent um, these pickups came stock on the high-end Gibson arch tops and the Les Paul Custom in the mid 50s this was Gibson's Cadillac pickup it was their high-end pickup and um, it they weren't around very long, so there aren't a whole lot of them out there. And uh, so Seymour Duncan has been offering this custom shop version um, for years. And if you get an opportunity, um, they are well worth uh, the asking price. Um, these pickups, um, I've got this sort of slapback going on. So this, this kind of rockabilly, uh, traditional, well it really is traditional rockabilly. Uh, these pickups by the way are lovingly referred to as the, the Scotty Moore pickups um, amongst a certain group of folks and uh, he may be the most well-known player to have used these. Now Scotty used the ES-295, the, the standard Gibson P90s, just for one year with Elvis. Um, who knows how long he had that guitar but he we know him through Elvis genuinely and uh, in 55 um, he traded in his ES-295 for a Gibson L5. <laughs> That's a lot of fives. Uh, but the L5 came stock with the, with the Gibson uh, stable pickups. So from uh, 55 to 56, Sun, RCA transition era, Mystery Train, um, those sessions, um, those are all the P90 pickups and you can really hear that. And so we've got a little slapback going on, a really simple setup here, a little 5 watt Gibson amp, um, a Bell Epic um, Catlin bred delay. I've got lots of delays and uh, this is a real great one also. And so I'm just going to be switching between the bridge pickup, the neck pickup, um, and both pickups and you can get that. That real clickety clack with these pickups, and if you play rockabilly, you know exactly what I mean. And once um, I wrote sort of a gypsy harmonic minor uh, rockabilly country Hawaiian thing to kind of show these, and um, you know, I kind of want to represent that sound. There's not a whole lot of pickup demonstrations uh, in the rockabilly and that roots rockabilly uh, style, and so. Thanks to Seymour Duncan for giving me, you know, uh, a lot of freedom to do what I want with these. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. I feel super blessed to have these in my guitar, and uh, I have three of them, <laughs> so I'm really stoked. Uh, anyway, enjoy, and uh, if you get an opportunity, uh, call Seymour Duncan up. Call the custom shop. They will dial you in exactly what you need. Both these pickups are identical. The only difference is that this one has a larger... Uh, base plate to lift it up a little higher, but uh, fantastic. Um, hope you guys have uh, great playing, good rocking, and all that. Cheers.